We're in the height of the storm right now, including here in New Orleans, as we get the outer wall of that Hurricane of Francine moving through Raceland to Lockport here. Meteorologist Derek Sibley running radar here. I know Gina Seller at the desk. But let's take a look at radar, what it's showing here from National Weather Service, the next route, and let's see what the wind speeds are doing here in town detected. And we're going to be about maybe, I'm guessing about two to 3,000 feet above level. So we'll stop it, see what we got, and maybe see what the radar is detecting for those winds. And, and there you see 53, 49 miles per hour, 28 right now. And those brighter shades will be that we've got the leading edge of the intense winds now just starting to move at 59 mile per hour winds, 53 mile per hour winds. Again, those are a little bit high off the ground, but rule of thumb here is you can usually go with about 80% of that wind makes it to the ground. So it's 60 miles per hour. You could easily say that that's about a 50 mile per hour wind. That's outside of Lafitte, Lockport, really strong winds. There's Homa, the winds that we know that had been knocking out power. So every single one of the shades of kind of the, the blue green shade on, on radar that you're seeing at this point here, you can see that the light winds lighter, it's darker green. When it gets to the brighter shades and it's almost white, those will be the strongest winds. And then when the air is going away from the radar, then you see that when it gets to the lighter shades of red, and it gets to white, then those are the most strongest wind speeds that we have. So we are just in the beginning stages of, of the strongest winds moving right on through. REL was right there showing on the main streets through town. Not sure if that was Canal Poydras, but it looked to be something on that matter to me. West Bank, look at the intense rainfall, the rainfall rates. Let's go to rainfall rate inspection, Derek, and show what we've got for the rates to come down. This is going to be on the order, oh boy, at least three to four inches per hour in pockets. Even East Bank now, Gentilly, looks to be right around 610, 6.6 .6 inches of rain. And I know the National Weather Service has this in the mode for tropical systems. So these are easily going to be rainfall rates that might even be upwards of 6 inches per hour. I think those are good in this particular radar mode. Not much in between. So the heaviest rain is Stell Concession Bell Chase. Sometimes this data lags a little bit behind when we go back to reflectivity data appreciate it. You're going to find that those will be the most intense rates. So that's what we know for sure. Live time, Algiers, the Point, Terrytown, Marrero, all the West Bank here going all the way towards West Wego, uh, Harahan and Kenner and Luling, Norco, La Brant, so outside of the river parishes too. Downtown, Mid-City, Fairgrounds, Gentilly, New Orleans East, getting heavy rain downpours, just rain coming in sideways from River Ridge to Kenner in northern Jefferson Parish. Heading farther west to the river parishes, Laplace, Lutcher, Gramercy within. We've got at least some of those other areas of Vashery, South Vashery. The, the rain not as intense, but still could be on the order of one to three inches per hour. We know that these rain rates in a hurricane that we just showed upwards of three, five, and six inches per hour could be. So pockets of three, five inches per hour rain rates, 3.7. So this is that combination of stream driving rain. We've got driving winds. It's all the combination together thereof. And what we also have to keep watching is individual cells within here. It's the time of day and now that we're getting friction, kind of the counterclockwise flow in and around the eyes it moves through. This will be the opportunity now that we get individual spin up cells to occur. North Shore, we're not forgetting about you because that's, this is all going to be moving your way within the next two hours. The rate of speed's been at about, oh, six, 17 miles per hour. And we're going to go back and check out the latest data as we should coming in a six o'clock update from Hurricane Francine. I'm looking at another computer source here. Winds at 90, pressure is up to still at 975, moving at 17. So in a bigger picture and kind of a reset at this time, there's going to be the outer eye wall of what was once Hurricane Francine at the strongest, most intense point. What's interesting is that is still extremely heavy rain. You'll watch it, it looks to be like, oh, well, the rainfall has just kind of subsided. It's gone away. Actually, there's such heavy rain right over our radar in Chalmette that the radar beam's essentially getting absorbed, getting eaten up by all that heavy rain. So we look at National Weather Service Doppler radar and you can clearly see the extremely heavy rain and even a backside to it. So this is such intense rain that really the signal from the radar can't go all the way through to see that rain that's all the way on the west side. I am watching these storms very closely. This looks special marine alerts. These are spins and this could have a potential to affect coastal Mississippi. Let's take a look. Chalmette Cam, I'm going to step out of the way. And that is really intense, right? You can't even see it looks beyond maybe a few hundred feet in the distance. Good thing there's light still on that I can find. But that is just intense rain right on through the city. 
Here's going to be other vantage points across town. We should be able to see the Crescent City connection. There's the CBD. There's the warehouse district. It is coming down in droves. Our height Regency cam Superdome blender the distance and boy, it is just in the throes of it right now. So the beginning stage is getting up to the peak of it right now. And you can see that those winds chopping up there in the water that we've got to the, tw to the twin span that we've got there too. So it's very windy conditions, Doppler radar with this here too. So an extreme wind event and even that very heaviest rain. So the alerts that we have at this time, we're under tropical storm warnings, but these are the flash flood warnings, Lafouche in Terrebonne parishes. These will be going on for several more hours. So we had intense rainfall just move right on through. This pocket of the heavy rain moving right on through New Orleans right now is the one that we've just been showing for extremely heavy rain rates too. And then New Orleans, Covington, Bogalusa, you're in kind of outer bands where it isn't as intense right now. But again, the six o'clock update just coming in from the National Hurricane Center. Still have winds at 90 miles per hour. Still have a barometric pressure at 975 and northeast winds at 17 miles per hour. Uh, I'm going to go over here and, and get up a different source for you here too. But it is uh, one of those that uh, has been really, really impressive as it makes its way on shore. So here we go with that latest sats just to show where we are in an overview particular forecast for us here. Uh, making its way uh, last three hours, you can see move right on through landfall five o'clock right here is officially where the National Hurricane Center said 30 miles south southwest of Morgan City outer bands to Grand Isle. Now looks to be that maybe some of the worst of what we have along the coast is starting to come to an end here. And so that would be something to look at for you. And we will still have effects that wrap around the storm itself. But right now, the most intense part of the storm for the city itself, as the eye walls moving towards us, that northeast side right here, this is the middle. This is the height of the storm that's right here. So that's kind of the overview in with that six o'clock update to where we stand at this point. Getting some of those most intense rain bands will be to the North Shore within the next one to two hours from here. We even have next one to two hours Slidell, Hancock County, the I-12 corridor. You're going to find this moving your way, and then you're going to be at the peak of the storm. At the rate of movement and seeing to where we are right now, if there is good news, it looks to be that maybe we are going to be putting this storm in the center of it up to the Mississippi border and into Mississippi by the time we're getting up towards around the 10 o'clock to a midnight hour here tonight, which is a little bit ahead of schedule here too. WDSU first warning weather Doppler radar. We will go and get things over to radar out of Nexrad, which is going to be in the Hammond right now. There's really intense rainfall rates, three, four, five, six inches per hour can't be ruled out. Still extremely heavy rain from Thibodeau, Lutcher, River parishes here too. This will be the strong winds as they move through as we saw on radar and we've been showing on the order of 60, 70 miles per hour and gusts even higher than that. This is the estimation for rainfall totals really starting to come in now too. Five, four, three inch totals is the farther we go, but this is going to be it. So let's go and check out some more of our reporters in action around the scene so we can see the firsthand information, get the reports. But Gina, Sella, just want to take a few minutes to say that this is it. This is probably going to be the worst part of the storm from now in the next hour, an hour from two from now. 